Welcome to Community Connections. I'm Kathy Millett. Joining us on the show today are Bob Zimmerman and Ty McClellan from MCCS Tsunami Scuba. Now, you guys have a ton of classes um, for divers and snorkelers out yes, there. Yes, we do. And um, I am not a diver. So we can fix that. <laughs> no problem. So what can I expect if I were to take your class? Well, the classes will s typically start on a Sunday or Monday evening for the evening classes. You'll be in the classroom for two evenings for about three hours each evening. You'll go to the pool for two evenings, typically about two and a half to three and a half hours. And then on the weekend, you'll go to do four dives over two days. Okay. And I'm really nervous. Is someone going to go in there with me or are you guys just going to throw me into the pool? For you, we'll have somebody go along with you. <laughs> no. Just for you. <laughs> just for me. No, the instructor will be with the student at all times in the water. Okay. And typically within arm's reach. Arm's reach. Okay, you guys start off at the shallow end of the pool? And yes, we go. Yes. All right. All slow, a lot of, lot of time at the shallow end before you even go to the deep end. Okay, yeah. so you're just sitting then, you sit. Well, you're learning mm. some basic skills that okay. you'll need uh, to dive and then get you a little bit more comfortable going a little bit deeper and then we'll do a little more skills and a little deeper and a little more skills. Okay, and about what are what is the price range for one of the classes? Uh, the price range runs from about 300 to 350 dollars depending upon if the student already has some of the snorkeling equipment or if they need to rent or purchase the equipment. Okay, and what is the um, age requirement? Uh, for open water diver, minimum age is 10 years old and all the way up to 70, 80, 90, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, and that, um, the only difference is that is the? 10-year-olds uh, and 11-year-olds are junior divers and they have a depth requirement mm -hmm. that they can no, not exceed. And then 12-year-old uh, up to 15-year-olds are also junior divers, but their depth is a little bit deeper. Okay, and tell me about some of the other classes because you guys have a lot of them. Got a lot of classes. Tons. Uh, tons, yes. <laughs> from, from open water, you, you would, your next logical step would be to go to the advanced open water program or do some specialties. Okay. Specialty dives are concentrated in a unique area such as maybe as night diving or we, into navigation, underwater navigation. You get a lot of experience and learn how to navigate properly underwater. Okay. Um, do you also have a photography class? Yes, we do. Yes. We have a digital underwater photography class and we'll teach you how to take pictures underwater. And because Usually you're not using a light, right? No, it's better if you do use a light. It is, uh, okay. Yes. Especially for the macro photography. Okay, so um, what if I don't have all the gear I need? We can sell it to you. We Yay! We know this little <laughs> shop over here. <laughs> and we have a full range of scuba equipment to include underwater cameras just for you. Now what kind of rental s items do you have? Full line of scuba equipment to rent also. Okay. Uh, mass, fins, snorkel, regulators, BCDs, cylinders. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. And cameras. We don't rent cameras. Mm -hmm. you, oh, but you sell the cameras. We sell the cameras. Okay, what, else, what other items do you sell then? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Just come by and look. It's, Every, it's, everything it's scuba related. Any, anything you need for scuba, <coughs> we'll sell it. If we don't, don't have it in stock, we can get it. Oh, mm -hmm. you can order it. Yes. That's yes. awesome. That's awesome. Okay, now um, the facilities, where are they? We have the main facilities on Camp Foster, building 1010 across the parking lot from the food court at at the exchange complex. We have a facility on Camp Hansen. We have a facility on Camp Courtney, and we have a facility on Camp Kinzer. And you offer classes at all these facilities? Yes, we offer classes at all the facilities. And now, as far as um, dive sites go, you have a list of the top dive sites listed on the website. Yes, we do. Dive tips, um, uh, tide tables. What about snorkeling? Snorkeling would typically be the same dive sites as, or same sites as diving. And what about some tips? Um, kids are going to be out there right now, school's out. What do you recommend for people who want to take their kids out into the ocean um, to go snorkeling? What do you, should they uh, be wearing? Uh, they should wear some sort of exposure protection, uh, depending on how easily they uh, sunburn. You want to wear some sunscreen. If they sunburn easy, you can wear some dive skins, uh, light clothing. Uh, exposure suits such as a wetsuit if they get a little cold in the water. Okay. So the biggest thing is to protect, fr protect from sun exposure and sometimes you may come across jellyfish so you may want to pr have uh, exposure protection for those also. Okay, now if you have dive skins, will that protect you from the jellyfish? Yes, it will. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And what about coral and um, other things? Uh, should you have other things uh, out there? <laughs> should you have Yes, there are other things booties? out there. Should you have booties well, and gloves? You should wear, you should wear booties no. and gloves. Uh, the booties will protect your feet. The booties that we recommend have sea a urchins. thick, thick sole, uh, felt sole mm -hmm. for sea urchin protection. Mm -hmm. 
And I would recommend gloves if you have a tendency to grab a hold of touch stuff. But I would recommend not touching anything in the ocean unless you know what it is. Okay. Um, how serious are rash uh, rashes from the coral? Getting cut by coral, do, do they get infected? or They could get they infected. Can it be, just yeah. depends on how serious the cut is. If okay. you do get cut by coral, the best thing to do is treat it as a normal cut and clean it up, put on some sort of uh, antibiotic, and if it gets infected, you want to seek medical attention. Okay, and right now, jellyfish season, uh, mm. what do you re recommend if someone gets stung? <laughs> vinegar. <laughs> vinegar, yeah, that's yes. vinegar. Al always, have, always have vinegar in the car or the truck. <laughs> okay, carry it uh, out, because I don't think most people carry it out, vinegar. Really. Uh, there's also some commercial product for jellyfish okay. stings. Yes. Vinegar also works, though, so just carry works. it in your car just in case. Mm -hmm. All right, do you need to go to the hospital for that? If it depends on your reaction, reaction to it. Reaction to it, okay. Yeah. And how would you know? If you're allergic to bee stings or anything like that, you, you might be allergic to yeah. Okay. When it really starts swelling up and it's hard to breathe, that's, <laughs> that's when it's time, that's to, when go. It's time <laughs> to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you know? Don't how about now? I'm blue. <laughs> Or anything else people need to be aware of in the ocean, things to be... Um. Well, the biggest thing I, I think uh, that everybody should take to the ocean is what it was talked about a little bit earlier is if you don't know what it is, don't touch it. That's, that's good. Uh, if you don't know what it can do to you, don't touch it. Yes. Ties do not touch rule. Do not touch. Okay. Yes. All right. Do you guys also have kayaks? Yes, we have kayaks for rent and we also have kayaks for purchase. Uh, you can rent the kayaks on a daily basis or on a weekend basis. Okay. What are the prices? Check the website. They're on, it's on the website. Call Ryan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on and talk, talking to us today. All right. Well, thank you for having us. Yes, for more you. information, be sure to check out the website at mccsokinawa.com. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more MCCS TV.